Hey everybody, Optimus Tom here. Now that the LEC's winter split has wrapped up, I wanted to take a look at how things shook up stats-wise as far as picks, bans, and top players from the split are concerned. Not only will this give you some things to talk about going into the LEC's spring split, but while you're waiting for the league to return, you can see how their meta stacks up against the other regions all across the globe. So let's get into the numbers, courtesy of Oracle's Elixir, and get on to the race. Champion presence is a stat that looks at how often a champion is picked or banned, which goes to show how highly rated it is by the teams in the league. Some of these may have both high pick and ban rates, while others are more skewed in one direction, usually showcasing a pick teams think is OP at the moment and banning it away, or something that is strong, yet safe to let through the pick and ban phase. Now of the top 10 presence champions during the LEC's winter split, Four belong to the bot lane in one role or another, and five if you count the few support Maokai games that were played, while three of the picks belong in the jungle, and the remaining three are solo lane champions. Callista leads the pack with a 96.5% presence, breaking down between 26 picks and 56 bans across the 85 games played, so a few where Callista just was neither picked or banned. Not far behind her is Varus, with an 87.1% presence of their own, but for flipped reasons. If you feel like you saw a lot of Varus in the LEC, that's because they were at least in half the games of LEC this split, with a 52.9% pick rate, which breaks down into 45 total picks and only 29 bans in total. Varus saw the rift way more frequently than the bench, due in part to their flexibility of going either the on-hit or lethality build depending on how the rest of the pick ban phase panned out. Cassante as the highest present solo laner makes a lot of sense. With 4,700 HP, 329 armor, 201 magic resistance, unstoppable, a shield, goes over walls, has airborne, cooldown is only one second two, and at 78.8% presence in the LEC winter, Cassante was the quintessential top lane pick for many teams, especially G2 and Vitality, who wound up picking him a total of 7 times each. With a 64.3% win rate to boot, Cassante was the second winningest champion out of the top 10 presence picks. Azir was in a similar spot, but the mid lane, as the most picked champion of the top 10 presence in the LEC winter a 56.5% pick rate and a 71.8% presence made Azir the most seen champion in the mid lane just behind whatever pick Hillisang was on that game. Team BDS's nuke took the title of most Azir games played this split, with 9 of the 48 Azir games picked being his, meaning roughly 18.8% of them. Maokai, Vi, and Xin Zhao were the most popular junglers of the split, with Maokai at a 64.7% presence, Vi at a 63.5% presence, and Xin Zhao at a 62.4% presence overall. Of all these picks, Xin saw the rift more with 39 total picks, while Maokai was left on the bench more with 31 total bans. Vi was more seen than banned with 33 picks and 21 bans, but was also the only one of these jungle champions to have a below 50% win rate, winning just 48.5% of the game she was played in. Rumble's the other solo laner on the top 10 presence list, with a surprising 47.1% ban rate or 40 total bans in the season. Tying Xin Zhao at a 62.4% presence, this meant Rumble only saw the rift for 13 games this split. Normally, this indicates the pick was powerful and that teams did not want to play against it. But the surprising part is, Rumble only won 30.8% of the games he was played in, with only 4 teams actually able to pick up a win with him. Giant X, Fnatic, Carmine Corp, and Team BDS. Now a pair of bot laners for supports, or both, finish off the list at a 56.5% presence each. Senna and Ash. Both saw the ban hammer more than they were allowed to be played, which was good, especially in the case of Senna, who had the highest win rate out of the top 10 presence champions, with 66.7% win rate. Ash being benched a lot matches Callista being banned out as well, as Ash's natural slowing passive is extremely good against the bot laner, meaning if one was banned, like Ash being banned first, it was most likely the other team would want to ban the other one to match the power levels for pick and ban. 
Now to finish out the champion stats portion of the video, I just want to point out some standout picks for a few different reasons. First off, Ivern was the champion that had both a 100% win rate and the most picks for said win rate with four total picks. On the opposite side of that though was Nocturne. Nocturne was the most picked and the most banned champion in the LEC winter to have a 0% win rate with three picks and 16 bans. I'm wondering if they really needed to ban Nocturne after all. Now let's shift our gears away from the champions and take a look at the players in the LEC winter split, specifically top players in a few different stats categories. Hansama takes the top spot for highest KDA in the LEC with a 7.11 KDA across 21 total games, with a scoreline of 109 kills, 36 deaths, and 147 assists, Hans was equally as deadly and hard to kill, with the fourth lowest deaths per game in the league at 1.71, and the most kills per game in the league at 5.19. This includes a deathless game as Lucian for a 19 KDA, as well as a 0-1-1 in one performance as Seraphine for a 1 KDA. The most pain-inducing player in the league was Humanoid, dishing out an average of 714 damage per minute in the 22 games that he played this split. Humanoid stats were buffed up by his 5 Quirky and 4 Hue picks, the two champions that had the highest average damage per minute in the LEC winter as a whole. This made up for 30% of Fnatic's damage share, putting Humanoid in third place for that stat as well. The people ahead of him there? Well, Niski in second with 30.2%, and Perks in first with 31.2%. Kaiser was the player with the highest kill participation in the LEC Winter Split, with an 89.2% KP across 14 games played. This was helped out by Kaiser's fifth highest assist per game, with 9.57 of those on average in every game. The player with the highest assist per game, well that was still G2's Mickey X with an astonishing 10.95 on average, almost 11 assists per game. Although lane stats can sometimes be weird thanks to things like Senna compositions and double support item bot lanes, the leaders in the CSD and GD at 15 minutes for the LEC winter split avoided that lane entirely. With a 400 gold difference at 15, Fnatic's Humanoid led the resource difference category from the mid lane. An unlikely role took the CSD at 15 top spot, with Humanoid's teammate jungler Razork having an average of plus 13.7 CS difference at 15 lead on his jungle opponents. That roughly equates to three and a half camps of advantage. One last shout out to supports before we wrap up the accolades by taking a look at the highest vision score per minute in the LEC winter. Although Targamas played a lot less games than other supports, still managed an average of 3.91 vision score per minute in the nine games he was on the Rift for, which was the highest in the league. Targamas had a 69.7 wards placed per game, which was the second highest on average, and the highest wards killed per game at at least 18 per game total. The vision score number was also helped out by a single game of Ashen Bard, both of which have higher than average vision score stats across all the champions played in the support role. That does it for the breakdown. Let me know who stood out to you in the LEC this split and what you're looking forward to next split. As always, for more statistical standouts and analytical content, make sure to subscribe. See you later.